Hey guys, Brown and Aaron here from Five to Go. We are uh, checking out a small RV show. Yeah. Uh, we normally go to really big ones like the Tampa <laughs> show, the Hershey show, like yeah. the ones you guys hear about. They're these right. record setting, enormous, very unlevel ground here. <laughs> um, but this is the Orlando RV show. And that mm -hmm. might make you think, hey, Orlando's pretty big. Uh, but we're not in Orlando. No, we're, in, <laughs> in Kissimmee. we're down in Kissimmee, and this is a much smaller show. Mm -hmm. uh, free parking, free to attend. Um, and it's Saturday morning, and it is not packed. No. And Tampa would have probably 30,000 people. So <laughs> this is going to be very different. We're here yeah. to actually see, are these small shows worth going to? That's kind of the, uh, the question yeah. we want to answer. It's been a long time since we've been to a small one. Yep. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go check it out. So right now, if we were at Tampa in the Montana area, it's that extra little building, and it would be absolutely mobbed with people. Yeah. So this is a, it's a pretty good way to see some rigs. <laughs> yeah. There is, like, nobody here. And it's it might like, look... It's like 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Yeah, and it might look overcast and it is but it says zero percent chance of rain so i don't know if people just like oh it looks like it's gonna rain so they're not coming but uh this is nice yeah yeah so we're gonna we're gonna keep poking around see what we see all right let's go check out this uh high country 377 fl uh aaron said this is the one with the weird door on the other side oh it is yeah. okay so i just came in the main door right here kitchen's right here living room or uh, like dining area fridge front living right it's one of these big wide open front livings that are really nice uh, but you come back this way and everything kind of flip-flops from normal so now you're there's a hallway on the off camp side the bathroom is here I believe this is just one full bath right yes for this entire yes. rig mm -hmm. yeah so we've got one full bath here a door here that's where like your power post and your sewer and your water spigot, that's where all of this stuff is. Like right now in our current campsite that we're in, the power post is right there. You would not be able to open this. But it's kind of cool because it has this little loft up here yeah. with a little staircase. And then it has like a, a master that you step down into. It's a cool layout, yeah. but I don't get this. I've, I've heard people say that it's so you can access the bathroom on driving days oh, yeah, I did forget that. Um, however those are solid steps so if these were steps that just like collected underneath uh, like kind of the cheaper travel trailer steps it would be fine because they'd be out of the way when this door is closed and the steps are not out but those are gonna come in here and they're gonna stick out into this hallway and make you have to squeeze through this hallway to get to either sleeping area yeah. so I don't know yes. yeah I, I like again I like new stuff. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Yeah. If you have this rig, will you leave us a comment down below and let us know how user friendly this is and yeah. what your experience has been with it? Because yeah. we can just think of lots of negatives. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Sorry. I like it. Like I love the, I like the, layout. the big Absolutely. drop down into the, the main bedroom here. Yeah, it's and nice. The kids would love this room up above. Yeah. And the, yeah, like she said, there's a loft there's up tons there. Of space. Yeah, I mean, now, one other kind of negative, and I know it's because we're at a show and they don't have all of the legs down. It is very, <laughs> very bouncy back here because you're we're hanging off we're of hanging the rear axle there, back yeah. here. So, yeah, but otherwise, it's a really nice layout. It's yeah. just this. If this had different steps that didn't block the hallway, I could, I could see it. I could understand it. So this one is a, an interesting little layout, a Cougar 27 SGS. Uh, we popped in here just a second ago, and uh, we both really like this living room. Um, it's obviously a couple's trailer, because there's just a bedroom up in front behind me here. But uh, it's a nice little kind of galley-style kitchen. And then a couch and some chairs and a dining area. And then a TV that's not... I mean, it's not in the best location. It's not terrible. But it's not terrible. And it could be bigger, actually. You can swivel it, I think. Yeah, it, it pops out and swivels, because they've got a strap down right now. Uh, but this is not, not a bad layout. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this. We'll just do a 360 again real quick. Lots of windows. I like that tall window right there. Big we, window. We do know that we still have 10 years. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got, we've got three kids. We're it's... just thinking <laughs> into the future. Like... Yeah, but I like this. We don't ever go in stuff that doesn't have bunks. Right. So maybe we should. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Let's do this pop up front real quick. Just... Just for a complete look. Oh, it's not a normal fifth wheel front end. It's more like a travel trailer. 
Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of normal. They have just the... Uh, oh, the bunk pad over there. Yeah, the slide is just the uh, closet and drawers. So this is more like the front end of a travel trailer to me. Big shower. Big. Yeah. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Big. Big with air quotes, yep. Yeah. All right, cool. I like it. So this one, uh, I don't think we've done a full tour on this. We're only going to go on the outside, the 3761 FL. So this has two step ups. One is for the living room in the front and the other is the bedroom goes up in the rear. But because you step up into it, you have an enormous amount of storage space. Just absolutely enormous. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, you can put folding bikes in here. No problem whatsoever. You could probably fit one of those weird little cricket things too. The like the little golf carts with no roof on it. So yeah, really, really big layout. This is about as much storage as you're going to get without doing the river ranch with the raised floor. So that's a neat layout. Got another Cougar 23 MLE. This, uh, something caught our eye from the door down there. Oh, uh, the okay. <laughs> the dinette is right as you come in. That is not normal. No. Oh, the kitchen's along the rear wall. Yeah, I do like the rear kitchens. We never get to look at those because they always, they don't fit with other, I guess, bunks and beds and stuff. So. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. This pantry. is a tiny rig though. It is. I'm, yeah, I'm just standing in place spinning around. This is it. <laughs> you can always tell if you're in a tiny one because you don't even get like a full size microwave. Oh, get the popcorn microwave. Yep. Yeah. And then this, I, this, I feel like this is overly sculptural. Like this, the the, the this, this is not necessary. The crown molding and it's just because this is a uh, mid profile fifth wheel and what mid profile means is the roof line gets to a midpoint and then drops off so your ceiling height towards the rear is lower that's a mid profile fifth wheel this stuff is not necessary i don't think i think it just kind of looks goofy floating out in space um but you know that's what they want to do that's fine pantry is nowhere near the actual kitchen i mean i guess this okay. isn't a huge room but it's not adjacent to the kitchen and i wonder what they're doing up here so this is similar to the last one yeah yep same bathroom same bedroom. Yep. Same front end as the other one. Um, I will say I am enjoying going into these rigs with nobody else. Right. Yeah. Like, However, there is a downside to these smaller shows that I want to talk about yeah, a little bit later. I know exactly what you're going to say. <laughs> We're just mixing it up today. We got a Forester Class C 3011 DSF. What are we looking at? Well, before you even come in here, the air conditioning is so loud in here. Okay. So you may not hear us, but oh my lord. <laughs> It's like we're in a wind tunnel. Wow, <laughs> it is so loud. This is not a quiet AC. No, no. So we've got a Ford front end here with the cab over. I mean, that's a lot of room up there. The yeah. They even like sleep next to each other, not even any touching. Each yeah, other. that's one. pretty big. Kitchen just runs down the side here. I think this is trash. Yep, little trash hole. Loudest AC in the world. Holy cow. Loud. A little step up into the bedroom. I really like this bedroom. Yeah. I love it when they have a window off the back when yeah. you're in a motorhome. If you can't hear her because of the AC, she Sorry. said she loves the rear window on motorhomes. I do. <laughs> wow. Oh, so it's a split bathroom, so the shower on this side and then the water closet on this side. Mm -hmm. uh, kitchen down the side. Yeah, it's a nice little layout. It's I like bad. it. Yeah. Okay, we wanted to look at small rigs, so we've got a small rig. The Freedom Elite 22 HEF. Aaron's already inside. I found her already. This is not Yay. very big. Wow, this is snug. Okay, so tiny little kitchen with a flip up counter, a popcorn microwave, a dinette. Uh, what do we got? We got a Chevy front end yep. with a cab. This is a big cab over it area. Is. It is. It's a nice area. Some storage up there. Um, There's what? no couch in here. There's no couch. Uh, you just have the dinette. And then we have the master bedroom on this side. <laughs> okay, sorry. Master bed on this side <laughs> and then the uh, bathroom over here actually not a bad layout for the bathroom like i feel like there's enough room to be in here so, you go ahead and get in that shower because i stood in that shower <laughs> and i felt it was, it was a little tiny is it is it a little I tiny mean, i mean yeah, i'm right here yeah it's <laughs> it's snug room to wave your arms around a little <laughs> to soap the walls yep that's right soap the walls um yeah it's small but these little guys you can get pretty much anywhere. Brian has been 
kind of talking to me about these. <laughs> and like, we could do it in something like this. Like, not full time. Not full time. Not full time. This is future, future, like something small. We can go to more places than we've been able to fit in our big rigs. Yeah, this is just a place to sleep, not a place to live. Correct. Correct. All right, we've got another one that caught our eye. We've got the Cougar T27BHS. The thing that caught my eye is uh, it has rear bunks, but no second door. And I hate the second doors. And uh, I will show you why. So when you come in, you have the kitchen counter right here. The, st <laughs> the stove is just kind of like, get in the corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we got the fridge. And then look at this enormous dinette. I like it. And there's storage here right by the door. I wonder if this could be like shoe... Oh, there's just big drawers. But there is like a little cave under here where you could kick shoes off under there. So I like that. So this dinette is huge. It is a free floating table as well. Yeah, so you can pull the table interesting. Out of wherever you need to have it. Yeah. Or you could turn it sideways or you yeah. could take it outside. Um, I don't know. I've never had one of those. I don't know how it works functionally just for like living and moving and stuff. Uh, and then we have the TV up here. I feel like I'm kind of actually in like a restaurant. Like, well, yeah, like this, like yeah, this feels like a, like a restaurant booth somewhere that is like covered in TVs. You know what I mean? Uh, then we've got bunks back here. These are enormous. These are, they're big bunks. These they're are huge. Limit, so that's nice. These are really, really, really wide. And then they just have the corner locked off. And then there's the little storage tunnel down here. I'm assuming there's, yeah, there's a door in the back there. Uh, and then we've got one full bath. Uh, little snug. Probably a shower, not too, not too uh, dissimilar from the one I was just in, uh, and then these are, chairs. These are nice. I mean, you're not doing family movie night. Here, no, no. But, um, but this is not, not terrible. Yeah, I like. So, let me talk about the second door thing. Yeah. So in a lot of these, a lot of these smaller trailers, for whatever reason, they go with two doors. So you would have a door there, and traditionally you would have another door like right here, right in front of the bunk room so you could get to the bathroom with everything closed up. Mm -hmm. But look how much more stuff you can have if you don't have a door wasting that wall space. But I wonder if you can reach that with the slide in. There's okay. only one slide. So let's do a mental experiment. So that's the main door. Yeah. The slide is here. It doesn't, it doesn't look so deep. I bet you it comes into about this tile right here. Yeah. Right here. So. Yeah, yeah okay. I bet you you can just like you can side shimmy. shimmy. Yeah, I bet you can get in there. Hundred percent. Yep, you could use this whole rig with this slide closed. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. To get to the bunks. Yeah, so not a fan of the second doors. I understand the reasoning, but it's one of those things where it's like, do you really want to sacrifice that much space, that much utility, that much usability for something you only need to do every once in a while? Yeah. It's really, it, it's a, I don't think it's worth the trade-off personally, but it is an industry trend to always make a bathroom accessible on moving days. I, it goes both ways. Yep. So this is the one with the huge dinette. It's only a gross of 9,000 pounds. Unloaded 69, so it has about 2,000 pounds of payload, and that 9,000 pound gross is kind of within beefed up half ton territory. That's, that's not bad. This, I... I, I like this one, guys. I like it. Okay, so Erin has already perched herself beautifully in there, but uh, this is one that has, I have looked at this one online. This is a Wolf Pup 1.6 BHSBL. This is a single axle, black label, tiny little, like, you know, possibly off-road-ish trailer. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this one is Erin just looked up the gross weight. It is under 4,000 pounds, which means I can pull this with my Wrangler. And look how much space is in here. This is an enormous bed. Yeah. I don't, it looks like a king. Like, or like a queen plus like a really wide queen or something. Or it just has very, very poofy. No, I mean the mattress comes all the way out. This is really big. It's not small. So this is the front area is all here. And there's storage underneath this. I don't know if you can get to it from in here, but you can from outside. There's some cabinets up here, cabinets up here. A dinette that, you know, if we had all three kids with us, uh, we were just talking, Ben would have to be here. Yeah. Uh, and then Brooke and Tara could have the bunks. And yes, there are bunks in this tiny, tiny little rig. Yeah. The and kitchen actually, yeah, they're not. Well, Aaron, Aaron has gotten a lot smaller, <laughs> but she hasn't gotten any shorter or taller. No, and I am stretched out all the way and my head's not even all the way. Yeah. Here. And so, uh, so that bunk's maybe five and a half feet, just shy of six. 
Probably six feet. I would say six feet. Yeah. Five, five. Yeah, and you got your toes pointed. And yeah, wow. That is huge. It's a big kitchen. So two of those with windows, which is nice. And then the kitchen, not bad. For the size of this trailer, this is a lot of counter space. It's a nice little you know, a round sink here, uh, a little gas or a propane stove that we would never use. We would just have an induction cooktop with us. Uh, popcorn microwave that would just be storage for paper plates and stuff. Got a little bit of storage up here. Got storage under the sink. Uh, the bathroom door is open. I'm gonna let her crawl out of there. Go ahead and pop into the bathroom there. So the fridge is here. Fridge is nothing special. It's just kind of hanging out on the wall here. The freezer is underneath and then electric panel and uh, battery cutoff down there. So the bathroom, well, not bad. Small, but it is a bathroom. It is, yeah. A lot of these don't come with a full bathroom. So this one, so you'll notice there's no sink over here mm -hmm. at all. And then the shower. This is, is kind of like a, if you have to shower yeah. kind of shower. Yeah, it's the kids got filthy, chuck them in the shower. Yeah. But look at this, it's got like the rainfall thing and the body sprayers, and there's the sink. This is the sink. So you so, can either wash your hands here, which I, I don't know that I would, because you'd have to use this. Yeah. This would be your, your oh, that's hand thing. that's the water, yeah. So I think it's you the would kitchen just sink. use the kitchen sink yeah, for everything. Yeah, so like brushing Everybody's teeth brushing and stuff. Teeth in there, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. If that's what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen. This is not a full time rig. No, uh, but it is. Uh, it is like a tub base. Yeah. So, so if you not worry about water, people. or if you need to wash the dog off or something. Yeah. This I, I like okay. this. Okay. Okay. I could pull this with my Jeep. Okay. Don't. Don't act like that. I, hey, <laughs> I'm, I, this is all right for sleeping. Yeah, that's what it's for. It's for what sleeping. TV? I, I don't know. Oh, I think one can go over there. <laughs> uh, yep, they have one of these little, the V mounts for a TV over here. Yeah. So, but we all have devices. I don't even know if we'd bother putting a TV in something this size. And yeah, if this was gonna yeah. be. Or I would put it there maybe, and y'all just lay on the bed here. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't know. This is not a hangout inside no. rig. This is a. We're gonna go cool places. We're yeah. gonna go a little off road, and then we're gonna set up and we're gonna hang out nice outside. Awning. I have places to like put things. There's a little refrigerator. Yeah. Right here. yeah. Oh yeah. So the door, but the, the refrigerator door. But I like that they had it pop down, so it actually works as a prep surface because it has the supporting straps. Uh, and then there's another mount out here for the TV. So I guess you could have a TV, and you could keep it inside, and then those mounts you can just lift the TV off, bring it out here, plug it in. Right? Yeah. So it's cool. I like it. Did you show this one? Anything around back? Oh, there's a rack on the back, a spare on the back. Okay. It's funny. I want to say it's a big awning, but it's a small rig, and the awning is and the, the awning size is of the rig. The so. <laughs> oh, and the storage up front. Yeah. Okay. And it looks like the bed lifts up too. I see struts. So you yeah. can get to this from inside or outside. And then all the power and water stuff on the other side. I like it. Okay. I like it. You can pull it with a Jeep. <laughs> Oh, so that's all glass. Yeah. So we're on the other side of this little black label that I love. I did not know that this was a door because I just poked my head in. I saw, oh, there's a window there and a window here. So you're saying from inside, that was all window? This is all window. Okay. So I guess, and this is like the storage then, you know, area yeah, underneath. Yeah, that's like right here. Okay. And then also under here, I wanted to check the sticker. Because Aaron Googled it online to look it up, but I always like to look at the stickers directly. So the gross here is different than we saw online. Yeah. 5585. Online it said 39 or something. 30. Huge, huge difference. Yeah. So that's why we always look at the stickers, because the sticker is for this rig. If you're looking online, try and find those stickers. So it might be a little bit heavy. Yeah. So that's a bummer. But that's why we look at stickers. This is as busy as it's been. Like it, this is this is it. Yeah. The sun has come out. The yeah. sun has come out. I'm I am baking. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. Okay, we have found ourselves in a Avenger 28 QB SLE. So it has quad bunks, which is why we came in because we always like looking at bunks. Uh, so it's got four bunks. Uh, it's got windows on the top, but not windows on the bottom. So it's really this is just like a how many kids can we pack in and sleep? And sleep. There's not a lot of storage in here. There's really nothing jumping out at us. I do like the blue though like it's kind of it feels a little comfy okay. uh, but then we came up into the master and um you know we have some opinions on um balances, balances <laughs> but i don't know that this is the solution you don't think the walmart cafe rod balance curtain is the solution I don't. I don't. <laughs> you know what i'd rather have that than the big boxy ones we this had in our first true. rig especially with how little like turning radius space there is in here yeah this is better than 
nothing, I guess, or better yeah. than something. Well, huge, I mean, the reason they use these is because they're covering is all to of cover the all of the blinds and stuff. But this is literally a Walmart cafe rod. It's it's that's all that is. Yeah. So I, you know what? I'd rather go with that. It's easier to take off. It take, makes fewer holes. So maybe we shouldn't be ragging on it okay. that hard. But, <laughs> but still, yeah, this is a relatively affordable, a very cheap. Right? One, yeah. I mean, this is this is plastic. This is plastic. Toilet is, plastic. Toilet is all plastic. Like it, this is this is an entry level. Yeah. Large. This is go out a couple of weekends a year yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And this lay I could see this layout working really oh, yeah, well. I like the layout. Pack a bunch of kids in. You got places to eat, places to feed them. You've got room on the floor for a table if you need it. This is this is a sleep kids out and then hang out outside. Nothing. Yeah. This is what you enter in with. This, yeah. is, this is okay layout. Absolutely. Like, but but yeah, <laughs> I just have to laugh when a manufacturer uses that. Yeah. And I wonder how much they would charge to replace it if it broke. What do you think about that? <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for this episode. This is mm -hmm. going to end up being two episodes, but I wanted to end this one with a kind of a teaser. So I did make an offhanded comment about uh, it's great being at these shows because there are fewer people, but you're going to have to wait for part two to figure out what my biggest gripe is with these smaller shows. She knows what it is. That's why uh -huh. she's laughing. I also have a very, we just had a very interesting discussion about this bedroom in this class C. This is a, a four of WB. some sort. Yeah, it's, it's not a very big class C, but there is something very... Very interesting that we really, really, really like about this bedroom. So we're going to get to that in part two. So we will see you there. Bye, guys.